I'm Monica Reinagel, the Nutrition Diva, here with your quick and dirty tips for eating well and feeling fabulous. And today, I'm going to show you how to bake spaghetti squash. Now, I'm sure you've heard of spaghetti squash, but if you've never done it yourself, it might be hard to imagine how squash could stand in for pasta. It's actually very simple. So here's my spaghetti squash. I picked it up at the market today and you're going to find this in the same area where they have the other winter squashes like acorn squash and butternut squash. And the first thing we need to do is cut this in half lengthwise. Now when I went to buy squash today, all they had were these very large ones. They're usually you can find some that are a little bit smaller too. So this may be a little tricky to get in, cut in half, but I'm going to dig in here. The spaghetti squash is very high in vitamins fiber, but it's very low in carbohydrates and calories. And that's why it's kind of fun to use it as a stand-in for pasta. So once you've got your spaghetti squash cut in half, then you want to just scoop out this center portion where the strings and the seeds are. This is just like cleaning out the seeds when you make your jack-o-lantern at Halloween. And in fact, if you like toasted pumpkin seeds, you can do the same thing with these squash seeds that you're removing. So. You just get that out of the way so you can see, just scraping out this inner material and getting that all cleaned up to go in the oven. And you can see stuff really starts to fly here. Okay, so we've got that pretty much cleaned up. Keep working on that to get all those strings out. And when you've got this cleaned up, do the same thing with the other one. This is going to go cut side down on a baking sheet into the oven at about 350 degrees. Now the temperature is not at all critical. If you've got something else in the oven at 325 or 375, that's fine. You're going to bake this until it's tender and it's going to take about 45 to 60 minutes. Now because our squash is pretty big, I bet it's going to take a little bit longer, but I'm going to check back in in about 45 minutes to see if it's getting tender. So our squash is done now. You can see it's gotten a little brown, that's fine, but you can see it's nice and tender, and that's what we're looking for. And because this was a big squash, it did take about an hour, actually a little bit longer, an hour and 10 minutes. So now we're ready to make our spaghetti squash. So I've got a bowl here, and this has been out of the oven just long enough that I can comfortably handle it. If it's still too hot, you can always just wrap it in a dish towel so it doesn't burn your hands, but you wanna pick it up like this. And now I'm gonna take a fork, and I'm gonna just start shredding it. And you can see it's just, turning into a sort of spaghetti-like strand. And I'm just gonna shred that. It's very easy to get it out of the shell. And I'm gonna work all the way down to the shell and I'm just lightly shredding this into the bowl. Like this. And then I'm gonna do the same with the other half of the squash. But here's our spaghetti squash. Now, you could just top this with some spaghetti sauce and some grated cheese, just like you would regular pasta. What I like to do, though, is to combine it with about an equal amount of regular pasta and then top it. That way you get an extra serving of vegetables into your day, and you also get to have a nice pit of pasta with only about half the calories and carbs of regular pasta. I have lots more tips on how to get more vegetables into your day, how to put together healthy, balanced meals in my new book, The Nutrition Diva's Secrets for a Healthy Diet, What to Eat, What to Avoid, and What to Stop Worrying About. It's got recipes, shopping guides, and answers to all the questions that are likely to come up as you're trying to make healthy choices, both at the grocery store and at every meal and snack of the day. Nutrition Divas Secrets for a Healthy Diet is available at Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, or wherever you like to buy books. So pick up a copy today and eat something good for me.